I'm going to show you the four different the common rooms for each of the four houses in Hogwarts Legacy. So this is for whatever reason you want to know this, whether you want, just want to know what they look like, or if you're deciding which one you want to play as. Uh, hopefully this video will help you decide which one you want to go with. So this first one we're looking at is Gryffindor. This one's going to feel like, it's just going to make you feel like you're rich. That's just how it feels. It feels like rich upper class people. That's just like now, the layout of all the objects and stuff. That's just the feel at least in Hogwarts Legacy for Gryffindor. Uh, I'm just gonna walk through this. I'm gonna stop talking to walk through Gryffindor, let you see the whole common room, and then we'll move on to the next house. What did I do wrong this time? Can't imagine starting new school this late. She gets bold and everything. Time, Next up is Hufflepuff. This common room kind of gives the vibe of like, makes you think of the Hobbit from the Lord of the Rings. You just feel like you're underground, like in a burrow, but it also has a lot of plants and stuff. So that's the general feel for this very quaint feeling to be in Hufflepuff, at least as far as our common room goes. Uh, so that's enough of me talking about it. I'm just going to walk through it and show you the whole Hufflepuff common room and let you judge for yourself how you feel about it. without 
doubt, the worst headmaster in the history of Hogwarts. Black noticed the scuff on him. I suppose some introductions are in order. Now we have the Slytherin common room, and this one feels very elegant and, I don't know, maybe majestic's not the right word, but it kind of feels like you're in a, a museum or like a upper class kind of, I don't know how to explain it. It really feels almost like a museum. It's kind of weird, uh, but obviously snake vibe, underground vibe, uh, lots of fossils and stuff up on display and stuff. So um, it's a pretty cool common room, but I'm gonna stop talking now and let you see what I mean. I'm just gonna walk through the common room and uh, let you see the Slytherin common room for yourself. I suppose some introductions are in order. That new fifth year must be different starting Hogwarts in your fifth year. I really hope you get to see I wouldn't do that if I were you.
Last but not least is the Ravenclaw common house. This one has a very intellectual vibe to it. I think there were star patterns on this on certain ceilings and things. Uh, feels like you're up in your ivory tower type of vibe. Uh, so if that's the vibe you're looking for, that is gonna be Ravenclaw. So I'm gonna stop talking now and just walk through Ravenclaw and let you see the Ravenclaw common house or common room for yourself. And then after that, I'm just gonna end the video. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. 